We're going to take a really quick look at Raw here. Raw is one of the features of this app that really got it popular. And uh, it's it's one of the first, if not the, f well, there was Lightroom, but this was the first like full featured editor that could do handle Raw photos. So it got a lot of attention really quick. And I just kind of want to show you uh, the Raw and how to bring a Raw in and develop it. Uh, you can bring raw in from iCloud or your photos app. You can airdrop it from your iPad, from your computer, or if you have a DSLR with Wi-Fi on it, you can get it over to your iPad that way. So there's a couple ways to get it on your iPad. Once you open it, um, you'll notice that up here it does say raw and it tells me what kind of camera I was using and gives me some other uh, information. Um, Again, we have some tools and we have just some kind of basic stuff that is not uh, in other places in Affinity, like uh, the red eye tool, the blemish removal tool, painting. Some of these, I personally don't like to use these. I feel that it's better to just kind of get your colors right and then bring it into Affinity and then play with it uh, more that way. Uh, I just feel like you can do more with it that way. But what I am going to show you really quick is the first thing that you want to do when you bring a, a picture in is um, we want to use the white balancing tool. And you just want to pick something that's white or neutral, uh, either white or black. And as you can see, as I touch that, that hair is white. We can like touch it a couple more times and it's going to white balance this picture. Now, this is hard. These girls were painted gold. Uh, this was a picture that I took at a... Uh, music festival called electric forest over the summer but we're going to try to do our best to white balance this and just kind of click around in certain spots and uh, actually that looks pretty good right there so basically you can play around with uh, some of the things on the side here and uh, you know you can bring your exposure up uh, you know all your contrast you got your saturation and vibrance um, and then you can bring your shadows and highlights. You can play with those a little bit. So let's just go. Uh, the last thing here is that there are a few more things. There's some lens distortions uh, that you can play with, stuff like that. There's detail refinement, uh, which is like sharpening. Uh, you do have curves. I would still recommend using curves back in... Uh, affinity because then you can make a layer that you can adjust the curves but if you spot something way out of whack that you want to just change right off the bat uh, you can do that uh, then there's the um, uh, metadata if you want to look at that uh, then we do have some overlays and again with the uh, navigator and the history so that is a quick overview of raw and when you're done um, Let's say we're good. We like everything. You go back up to the hand tool and well, first you can hit split here and you can do the before and after just to, you know, really make sure you got it the way you like. And then you can hit uh, develop there and this will bring it into affinity as a new layer and or a new composition and you can keep editing from there. And that's a quick look at raw in affinity for iPad. Now let's just in the next video, edit just a normal picture.